why I'm any main. What kind of fool do you take me for? He any main. He any main. You any main. I'm any main. Are there any other squid? Any main. I should know about. Meow. I'm out of here. Any, any, any. Ugh, oh, this character. All right. So for this video, I want to talk about this character it's on PvP mode. So if you're a PvE player, um, well, I don't think this video is for you because I'm only expressing my thoughts on PvP Annie and I refuse to play this character against other people. So I want to express my hatred of this character in PvP mode. First I want to... But before we kind of do... I go on like a rant about Annie. I kind of do want to talk about some of the things I like about her. So first I do like Sagan. I think Sagan's cute. Especially during backdashes. Just her grabbing him. And just... It, that's a cool grab too I guess. It's fast too. The range is average. So it's, it's not bad on the grab. Um, her normal attack is fine. Honestly, it's pretty simple. Launcher, launcher's fine too. I I have no issues with launcher. Some of her specials are really cool. I like uh, I like North Knuckle. I think North Knuckle's a really cool move. And the re entry, I think that's what it's called. I like that move as well. And some of her and her blockbuster player recreation. I really like this. I I think that's a cool move as well. Her first looks pretty cool. Taunt is funny. And overall, yeah. I when I first saw Annie, I thought she was a pretty cool character. Not gonna lie. I really do like Annie. Kind of reminds me of the fact that Annie was like some kind of star child. I don't know, kind of reminded me of Kirby a bit. Well, with a sword, I guess. And really love the skins. Like, love the PvE skins they put in for Annie. Like Link, Wonder Woman, Cloud. Um, don't like the Nessa skin because, you know, model leader's annoying. But other than that, yeah, really, she has some really cool things about her. But... But my hatred for her is overwhelms way too much to make to like this character. So now I'm gonna talk about well not gonna talk, I'm kinda gonna rant about Annie in PvP mode. And by far for me, she is my she's the most annoying character I've ever fought in a in this game. Even more than Misfortune, Peacock, Squiggly, I find Annie to really... I found myself to play PvP less because of this character. I This is one of my least played characters alongside with... Um, I, uh, and at the same time, she's the most... I don't get any enjoyment of fighting against her as well. So... Let me get... Let me put on different moves for just a sec. And let me just say, let's start off with some thing with some of Annie's kits. And I really, really and I just wanna say I I'm gonna kind of you know trash talk this character because I really do hate this character so much. Um I wish Um the Skullgirls mobile team did something about this character, maybe it I mean, I'll go for some nerfs I wish I could give to this character, but you know, that's just me. If you like Annie, that's fine, I guess, but that, but you know, that means I really don't like, uh, <laughs> I really don't like you. Uh, so anyways, let's begin. So, um, let's talk about Annie's dash-ins. They're pretty slow, not gonna lie. Like, they're reactable, you can... You can punish these... You can actually punish her coming in. And... It, her backdash isn't that great. So you will rarely see Annie's backdash. 
but her but I do want to talk about this move. Her crouch attack. I really have problems with this crouch attack. The fact that Annie make shrink I I'm not even quite sure if if it's true, but I'm pretty sure she does shrink her hook box. And th this move is really is one of the best crouch attacks in the game. It's well, I wouldn't say it's safe on shield because you know you'll get punished for it. But at the same time, this crouch attack is obnoxious, and it's just the small part that makes it any obnoxious. But it's not the biggest offender, so. Let's go over other stuff for Annie. Annie's light, so you know, she gets comboed easily, she can get zero to death easily in PvP, so you might be thinking, think, thinking, you know, what's the matter, but if you've played PvP, you already know that this character has, even though this character's backdash sucks, and, a, and many of her, like, kit, I guess normal kits, but like, everything else makes up for it. For example, one of this is not a move I see a lot, but it's still a pretty good move. <laughs> Don't remember the name, but I think it's Psycho Present cut. cut. I can't remember, but like this move is actually pretty good. I I wouldn't uh I wouldn't lie to be honest. I use this for Annie, and you could easily do like pretend that Annie here is blocking. I would. Just do this. Like that. And if the opponent stops blocking, they're gonna get hit by it. And if someone, if a character uses a blockbuster, of course the blockbuster beats it out, but sometimes that it can trade with some blockbusters. So I find this move to be a bit obnoxious, but you know, not, not a lot of people use it. I think if I remember, it can also hit projectiles like George. I'm not quite sure. I don't remember. But I don't want to go on to go on a tangent and talk about this move too much because it's not her, you know, worst defender as a move. But this special I'm going to show you is this move, the uppercut. I hate that move. That special, in my opinion, is one of the best specials in the game. It om you have to almost treat it like a blockbuster. It's not safe on shield, but it does good amount of shield damage, and you could combo off of it and make and it's just you can avoid off the ground. Whoops! Did not need to use did not need to use gravity slingshot. Um, but. Uh, like I said, Psycho Cut, or, well, not Psycho Cut, I don't remember this move, but this move is so obnoxious. It's, you don't know about this, but this move can beat out a lot of trade or beat out a lot of blockbusters, and at the same time, this move is invincible for Annie. This is a combo extender. It's, it has, I, is it? I'm not sure. Yeah, it has intangibility frames and it can beep out some blockbusters. That's why I really hate this move. This move is... I wouldn't say it's the most safe. I wouldn't say it's the most safe move, but I do think it's one of the more... It's one of the best moves Annie has in her kit. And then don't make me like get started about her star power vision. Her star power version increases her combo. She gets she gets to go back in the air. So you can launch her. And then if you have that, if you have the star power version, you can launch her again and then do another combo off of it. Which is again very obnoxious. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna talk about another move. And it's Sagan Beam. This move does around 
It's a good combo ender. A lot of people use it, and the main reason why a lot of people like using it is because you can use this thing in the air. I, I don't know why they gave her the ability to use that in the air. A lot of specials and blockbusters she can use differ. They have like a second part to it, which makes her very versatile. And, you know, that's why it makes her annoying. <laughs> Sagan Beam is also really, really, it's one of the safest blockbusters. You can spam it from afar. If you're, if the character is about to die, if your character has like 4%, she can just chip off your health with that. And that move is really good at just catching people. And it's it's safe, relatively. She can just shoot it out. And even if you're close, if you're blocking closer like this, she can switch into another character. So, you know, it's another rock, paper, scissors game. But you know which blockbuster doesn't matter at all? This... Blockbuster is the best blockbuster in the game. I don't I don't want to hear anyone else contest me on this because you're not going to change my mind. And it's this stupid move. Gravity slingshot. I hate I love this move. I really really do. This move in the PVP mode makes everything thing about Annie so obnoxious this move it's true that this move can actually be beaten out if you've seen some of my other videos this move you could beat it out with like pain wheels needles maybe like George bombs you know peacocks whole idea there's some ways you can beat it but if you don't have the tools and if the Annie reads you then you're screwed. If you don't have, if you're playing a character like, um, like a character like Beowulf or Fukua, who just doesn't have a special to deal with it. And not only that, I'm also a Beow main, so I can't. I have no way to get contest it, except with the you, except when you know Beowulf launches his chair. That thing is so specific as well. Trying to. Hit Annie with it. The if you don't have any tools and if the Annie sees you don't have any tools, you're inherently screwed. This move really, really sucks. It's a BB2, so you might be thinking, hey, it takes a long time to charge, right? No. And I'll show you why. It's even though it's a BB2, and you might be thinking, oh, it takes a long time to charge, right? Okay, well, let me show you this for a second. Look, it's back up. You get to use it again. And if you seen the combo right now, you basically just killed someone. Prob at 100, you TOD'd someone. And then you have another gravity slingshot to get the other per get the other character that's coming in. That's why I hate this move. This move is so bad. Not only does it help you charge up your blockbusters, it stalls you enough to get your specials back, and your star power back. This move is so awful. So maybe you can shield it. Nope. If you shield it, if you shield this move, you can just do this. Or something is like this. This move, her dash, this does tons of block damage. You can do one, two, one, and then slide to break it. Or if your timing's good, you can just break your break your shield. And yeah, this and look at that. Look at that. Uh, the even that even then I wasn't even doing a combo. My gravity slingshot is always is almost 
you know, all the way back up again. I really, really despise this blockbuster. They have to do something about this. This move is the reason why I really can't play Annie without feeling guilty or have or just like getting, you know, very f frustrated because I'm stuck in the, the slingshot and I can't do anything. Like, I legit can't do anything. I just have to watch my character die, get their shield broken, and then just, you know, get TOD'd. Or, you know, just stand there, there's no nothing you can do. You can burst out of it, for sure. You can burst out of the slingshot, but like... And it gets no block. They can read your burst and then, you know, hit you. So it's a free way to get rid of burst as well. So that's why I kind of do hate this move. Also, the fact that Annie will always never be in point. She will either be middle anchor character. She's going to get her thing back really, really quickly. And not only that, star power. Okay. I... Before we actually talk about the real menace of why I ha hate this character, let me switch uh, some things up. Yeah, some things up again. Okay, back. And let's talk about her final move. Mine's worth 2,000 words. If you don't know about that BB3, it's one of the best BB3s in the game. And I'm not joking. In my opinion, that BB3 is obnoxious. I really dislike that BB3. For some characters, okay, there are some BB3s that, you know, really do suck as well. Like, not, you know, suck, but you know, you get, you get what I'm saying. It's just like, it's, it's horrible. Like, Philia's BB3, her blowout BB3, you know, you can just combo that into a, you know, uh, her Gregor Samson, I think that's called, and then into, you know, whatever, and just TOD with one BB3. But this BB3, because in my opinion, I think this is the worst BB3 to fight against, because at least for Philia, she needs to have tools to be able to TOD. This one, you just, it just puts the opponent's stagger. And that's huge. That's one, that's really huge. And not only that, it does 10%, I'm pretty sure it does. So, you know, you're already starting off with some good damage. And not only that, you think you are, you think you're safe. Because if you have a burst, you think you're safe, right? No, because I, I'm, I don't know the combo myself, but I've seen people launch and just kill, and just do a TOD. And just do a TOD off of that. Just through a launch, and it has to do with uh, you know the her uppercut, and my and combined with everything else, this BB3 you and the fact that she gets huge blockbuster gain back, she's able to. I've seen matches where she's able to use this BB3 twice, and this BB3 is so is one of the worst things to get hit by. It, you feel so bad when you get hit by this BB3. Like, don't lie, when you see her use it, you're like, oh, well, there I go. I enjoy getting TOD by, you know, by this move. I really, really dislike this BB3. It's really obnoxious. And for Umbrella's BB3, I'm glad she, does, she didn't get anything like that. Which, you know, I'm glad it's a hard knockdown when she has... For BB3, so you know it's fine. Okay, so let me get into my own section. Get I'm gonna have this as as good as the biggest star or offender of Annie, and it's her passive ability. I've talked about this in my tier list, but this passive ability is so so bad. It's it's what makes. Annie be able to use all her blockbusters and make her I don't know in my opinion she's the second best character in the game like I've seen people I've seen third fourth best character but to me she's second best I don't care if Peacock and Squiggly can do her can you know you know deny her stuff as as well as Eliza I feel her BB I heard I heard for me her star power is obnoxious and yeah, it's the move pass ability star power. I hate this ability so much. Ready for 
Yes. It's like the one of the most annoying passive abilities in the entire game. This move is so bad. And here's why. Let me list a lot of things about this move. One, you get extra damage. Two, the chart. Two, it freezes. So she gets to have like she gets to have time to do something. She freezes the whole thing. She can make a G5 safe. I, I mean G4, whoops. And while she uses while the other characters out. She slowly gets her star power back like a special move. So not only that, it would chip damage is insane. I you could if the opponent is close to dead, you can just spam G4 and win with chip damage. And it's because of these stars. These stars are like projectiles. They're really, really good at trading. You could just G145 while the big band's approaching and just deny his armor just like that because of these stars. These stars don't go too far, but they're excellent to do, they're they're an excellent way to just drain block meter and an excellent way to get blockbuster back. So this is her so this is me just trying to get Sega beat back. What's a normal? So I couldn't get Sega beam back. And this is not in and this I didn't include uh what was it? The slingshot yet, the gravity slingshot. Gravity slingshot another way to get her blockbuster back really fast. Star power helps her gain star power, but like it's not as this it's not the same. It doesn't increase the blockbuster meter by a lot. It just helps you because you know you can you can extend her combos and get it back. And just because of that, this makes her really obnoxious because she has the tools. She's a good anchor. You can bring her whenever you want to, to, to just assassinate the character you're fighting right now and then just like whip her out again. Like bring in your other characters. So if I have a point misfortune, middle, I don't know, middle Cerebella and then and anchor Annie, I would summon my misfortune, right? And then I would, you know, just rustle and like tussle fight a bit and then like when the opponent slips and I could just bring in Annie and just finish the job or I could just continue continue with the you know onslaught because I have enough blockbuster meter if I'm running out of blockbuster meter and star power well it doesn't matter I can just switch back and make my star power you know recharge and my blockbuster slash specials that's why I really hate Annie and I've been saying this a lot about why I, I hate Annie, but it's just that another thing about her character is that she's super easy to play. Like you don't have to do fancy combos to get, like, get a zero to death, you can just do this. Like maybe I didn't, sh like maybe I needed a psycho cut there or whatever the uppercut. I, I'm, I'm getting mixed with the specials, but like, if you had that, then yeah, it's just a simple zero to death. She, her TOD is the easiest TOD you can do. You, everyone else's TOD requires a bit of hard work. I would say, Misfortune is obnoxious, obnoxious, and she is like the best character in the game, but. One, one thing Misfortune requires the person to do is just know the combos, know how headless works, and be able to, you know, be able to, like, know how to, like, you know, use head as a way to just completely, uh, deny approaches and making her be, make her, you know, be able to approach. And that's, that's why 
I'm fine with Miss Fortune because she does require a bit of skill. Annie requires no skill at all. Anyone can play Annie really easily. In fact, I think she's the easiest character in the game. I'm not lying. And another thing about Annie is that she's really, really good at making a comeback. I've played against a friend I know. It was a couple months back. But he played double. I mean, no, whoops, uh, Peacock double. No, it was Peacock Annie double. And I was able to take down his Peacock and double. You know, pretty easily. Because, you know, Peacock still has glaring weaknesses. Double is has a good amount of glaring weaknesses. And, and you know, and, you know, like, Annie, Annie does have weaknesses here and there from what I've shown you, but, like, her weaknesses are, her blockbusters, her star powers just make up her weakness, honestly. Like, her weak, she doesn't have to approach, she has tools to just approach you at safely. She has, a. Uh, and she has ways to just know if you're gonna try to contest her slingshot. So once you lose your way to, you know, counter against slingshot, she's definitely just use it and just annihilate you. And so, like I said, my friend, he played those two. They have weaknesses. I defeat them. Annie's the only problem. I just could I just couldn't kill his Annie because Annie would always get his block, will always get her blockbuster fast enough. She always had star power up and ready, and not only that, that a BB3 is just way too much, honestly. That's why I just can't stand doing any PvP anymore. Now you can call. Now I guess you can call me like, oh, just learn the matchup, or just you know, you know, find a way to just you know, play PvP and just you know, find play better character. Or something like that but for me even with other characters I just can't stand this character at all just because of slingshot actually three things slingshot her BB3 and her star power those are the three reasons why it's almost impossible to get through an Annie without losing a character unless the Annie is really like a huge like a beginner who doesn't know well if, a, if there's a competent Annie who does know just the basic things of what to do. You're not gonna. You're either losing or you're not getting. A, or you're just. You're gonna lose two or one characters. You can never. You can never get out alive with a competent Annie, in my opinion. And that's why I just hate this character. And the reason why I just continue to. You know, to hate this character is because. She's just everywhere in PvP now. Like, I go by PvP like time to time, and every time it's an Annie. I, the majority of people playing in Skullgirls Mobile PvP are Annies now. Because everyone knows how overpowered this character is and how easy this character is. Just because of the how easy and overpowered she is, I, I have to fight Annies like half the time when I play PvP. Like, like I thank the Lord every time I don't see one. And it's just really, really hard for me to go buy PvP without seeing an Annie. And the fact, and sure, she is, she's lied, you can combo her, you can zero to death her, but like, she has really good defenses. This? This? You can't approach this. You're gonna get hit by the stars. Those are projectiles. You can't approach this. You can just stand there and do that. Sure, she's gonna waste star power, of course. But that makes. But, you know, you can conserve your star power. You can turn it off. Yeah, you can turn off your star power. What the heck? Actually, thinking about that sounds. That sounds really stupid, turning off your star power. But, anyways, that's basically my concerns, Randy. I really can't stand this character, honestly. She's the reason why I don't enjoy PvP anymore. And honestly, if if you're an Annie hater like me, just tell me why what what you hate about Annie as well, or some things I might have missed, or some things you can correct me on, I guess. But at the same time, um, if you're if you really really do like Annie, 
I can respect that in Skullgirls, second Encore, but I can't respect that in Mobile. I, I just can't. I have a huge problem with Mobile. And the fact that if any, if you're an anime in Skullgirls Mobile, I, I can't, uh, you know, just tell me why you hate me, I guess. <laughs> because, you know, I don't like any players. Uh, but, anyway. but anyways, before I end this video, I want to go over some nerfs I wish the, uh, the team, the Skullgirls Mobile team, does for any because the most recent, I've, if I remember, was Parasol's Crouch, which, you know, which was somewhat of a blessing. Also, you know, because that crouch was insane. Crouch attack was actually insane, but... The, uh, some things I wish Annie was nerfed on was first her star power. I, you, I want it to not turn off. If you turn this Wait, thing off, I feel like you, sh you shouldn't be able to turn it off and conserve it. Because you can, you know, you can always use the freeze effect when... See, I can use it again. Ready for my close -up. And then I can conserve. And I don't think they should have add that. I think, also, I want star power to at least be used twice a game, or at least once. Like, once you use star power, you can't use it anymore. There's no, up, there's star power won't charge anymore. Star power is like a one-time one time thing. You use it, and then it's gone. Like, it's fine for Skullgirls, like, PvE, especially for this character, Timeless Hero. Because, you know, she gets endless star power, right? If she has, like, the attack up, auto block, and all those other stuff. I'm fine with that. But for PvP, this needs to be nerfed. Star power does need to be nerfed. Like, I still don't want to take- I don't want to nerf her too badly to make her, you know, one of the worst characters. But nerf her enough to be less annoying. And the second thing I want to talk about is Gravity Slingshot. Nerf- Nerf how long it goes on. I just want to nerf how long this thing goes on. I'm gonna actually see how long it goes. Give me just a second. Okay. One, Mississippi, two, Mississippi, three, Mississippi. Around- 3, 4 Mississippi, I feel like they should decrease it to 2.5, or maybe that's too much, maybe 3, 2.9, I don't know. Maybe enough to make sure that it just doesn't become a huge nuisance, and she just doesn't have, she just doesn't have to break her shield just like this, like that, and another thing I want, like, I want nerfed, I guess, is the BB-3. I want it to do no damage at all. If you want, if it's gonna stagger, a photo shouldn't do as much as Beowulf launching his stupidly huge arm. If this does 10%, and Beowulf arm, Beowulf's BB-1, his Grendel arm, does 10% as well, that makes no sense at all. How does a stupid photo do 10% does the same amount of damage as Beowulf launching a giant arm at you? But you know, I digress. It's it's just I feel like it shouldn't do any damage at all. A few things I also wish Annie was nerfed on was pro is probably her last move, her uppercut. I just want that move to do less damage. I think that move does ludicrous damage, like 12%. Also, the block damage is insane too, if I remember. Other than that, I'm fine with everything else. I feel like maybe don't nerf her as hard, but make sure her. I think her star power needs nerfing the most. That's my thoughts on it. But yeah, that's my rant about Annie. I she, this character, I was excited at first, so excited to play this character. She looked absolutely amazing. She looked fun to do combos with, but then she turned out to be you know very brain dead. The most, you know, complex looking character turned out to be the most brain dead, easy to use character, which made me kind of, you know, sad to see her. And to be honest, in story mode, I like Annie as a character. She's an interesting character, you know, stuck as a 13 year old girl. And the fact that I see her now as just a character that in PvP mobile, where everyone just uses to just, you know, get a free easy win, it's just. Yeah, I 
can't go into the competitive scene too much anymore. Just because of this character. Like, I've... S like, oh my god, man. They really need to do something about this character. Eh, well, I could rant about other characters like, you know, Ro Misfortune, but this is probably the longest rant I would probably have just be because Annie's just obnoxious. I can rant about Umbrella. She has lots of... She does have some unfair stuff about her. I can rant about how Penguin and Robo Fortune might need a buff, as well as my boy Beowulf. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. I, like I said, if you like it, you know, you like it. If you hate it, then just hate it, I guess. Explain why you, explain why Annie isn't as overpowered as you think. Honestly, I don't really care. I think this character's broken. I think this character just demolishes everyone except Misfortune. Uh, anyways, see you guys next time, I guess.